What do we got going on? As you saw in the title, the hawks are eating my birds faster than I can grow them. We've been growing chickens, meat birds specifically, and uh, a couple of layers for the last couple of years. And for whatever reason, this year, the hawks have targeted the birds and I've lost five meat birds in six days, something like that. I knew that we had an issue a couple days ago. I was out stringing Christmas lights and the hawk came in and uh, clipped two of them. And you know, these things happen, homesteading, you get used to death, things happen, not real happy about it. Okay. the. Uh, Aggravating factor in this is that we had to go away on vacation. We went away on vacation. I had a, a neighbor come over and bird sit and of course the hawk got another one while someone else was watching my stuff. So the guy feels terrible. It's not his fault. I made a half-ass effort before we left because I was under a real bad time crunch to just kind of throw some strings up as seen on Pinterest. Throw some strings up. I put this uh, I put the rack up above it here and then wanted to string some strings across to prevent any uh, hawks from flying in. And by, mo and by no means am I an expert on bird law, but I have to think that this big hole right here is probably where the hawk came in the last couple of days. I just didn't have time to build any more. I was under a severe time crunch. So what we're gonna do today, continue reinforcing. There's gonna, uh, first thing I'm gonna do is build something here. <laughs> I don't know why I thought this was gonna be good. This is all my fault. Uh, I'm gonna build something here to close up this door. My aggravating factor on this is the weight. I don't need some big, huge thing. I just need a frame to hold some chicken wire or hardware cloth here. And then I'm going to continue on stringing the rest of it uh i know it looks like right here there's nothing but you can't see it and really i can't hear but there is bird netting there what i'm going to end up doing is dropping these down one foot and then running chicken wire across save your comments i'm pretty familiar with uh, predator proofing like i said we've never really had a huge consistent issue like this over the last couple of years. I know chicken wires for holding chickens in and not like say raccoons out, but raccoons are not the issue at this point. So we're trying to harden our defenses against things flying in. So the chicken wire should work for that. My other aggravating factor, why don't you just put a roof on it? We have so many leaves and so many trees that last year over the duck house, and I'll if I can, I'll find a, uh, a clip. Over here, we had a roof. I had installed a roof over this made out of hardware cloth with you know metal stringers across. The leaves got on so badly that they, well, leaves and snow, and it collapsed it. Luckily, I didn't lose any birds there, but uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm not an engineer, so. I'm not really gonna do a roof over here. What I wanna do is just, like I said, prevent e uh, entrance. Enough talking, I don't have time for this. Um, somebody asked, uh, somebody left a comment the other day, like, hey, do me a favor, start making more feature length, full length videos. Cool, I got you. say no more. I'm gonna try to make a concerted effort to get more videos out. Uh, but if you're really interested in the kind of comings and goings and almost daily postings we post on Instagram and here on shorts, that's the best I could do. I got a full-time job. <laughs> it's a lot. Social media is a lot. Uh, but this is going to be my first concerted effort into making uh, the next installment. You know, it's been a lot of, uh, yes, birds. It's been a lot of chainsaws, it's been a lot of tractors, but the reality is, is a lot of that stuff sits the majority of the time. Daily, many times a day stuff is the birds. The birds are more important. The birds and keeping the house running and fed. That's the overwhelming majority, especially this time of year. It's what we got going on. Uh, so I'll uh, keep you along with this. The other thing is, is I'm gonna have the generator running. So where I normally don't do generic homestead uh, banjo music, you're not gonna be able to hear me. So the generator is gonna be running, insert generic banjo music.
All right, so the door part is done. Uh, the door part is done. Uh, it's good enough for me. Uh, you know, this isn't fine carpentry. This is uh, hawk proofing. Uh, so now we're getting into wrapping. Uh, I probably should have measured before I went to the store, like how long this stuff was. But uh, alas, I didn't. So. So I'm, you doing that on purpose? So I'm just gonna start stapling. Let's let's do it. They're off talking. Okay, so this side, <laughs> so the ground isn't level. I made the top level to level, but the ground obviously pitches down. So on this side, this is all the, uh, all what remains of the four foot gap between the top and the top of the fence. So I'm gonna switch over to the other side. I doubt you're gonna be able to hear me because the generator's on that side. But we're going. Birds feel safer already. All right, so all I did there was just drop them down a feet so that a foot so that we can so we have four feet between this board and this board nice and easy sweet so we got the uh strings up across the top there i think order of operations is it's easier to do it this way than wrapping who cares uh if you take any advice it is do not buy mason line from tractor supply just get the real stuff from home depot this stuff is trash it is god awful uh, i've been around a lot of mason line in my life Here's the issue. As you unroll it, it falls off the ends, and all you do is get these big, huge knots. I don't know how much I wasted of it. I don't know, it could be like a raffle. Like, how much do you think this is? A hundred feet, a hundred yards? I have no idea. It just falls off the end of the roll. It's trash, don't use it. Just go to Home Depot or whoever and get the real stuff. This is a complete and utter waste of time. I did have enough to finish with one roll, so I can return some. This way it's no longer in my house because I bought two rolls. All right, now, commence with wrapping. All right, so we're all done. Stop starting every sentence with all right, so. Okay, so we're all done. Is it my finest work? No. Is it effective? Uh, I guess, uh, we'll see. Uh, no hawks have eaten any chickens, like, right now, so that counts for something. I don't know, I don't have an outro. Uh, it, it, I've made many videos and haven't posted them in regards to, uh, I shouldn't say many, there's only one other one. Uh, where we lose a bird we lose a bird to a predator and uh i end up not posting them because social media is the picture that you want to put out there it's my choice to do it but this one is uh i don't know i didn't want to be called an idiot in the past like oh new guy city slicker you don't know what you're doing but now it's like a couple years in and i kind of know what i'm doing and i'm still losing a bird here or there or five in a week uh so Anywho, 
So far, so good. Thanks for watching, blah, blah, blah. Can you guys do me a favor and uh, not get eaten? Like, ever again? You know, except you know, by me. But that's not how we roll. Like, we don't, we don't tell you that. That one over there is still eating. We live a happy life here. Happy life, chickens. Hey, ducks, you good? Yeah. Ducks are always good. What's good at Duck World? Mud? Cool.